<laughs> oh man, as soon as I hit record, my spirit just, I feel, yo, it's crazy. As soon as I hit record, I just get this surge, like this energy to, I, I start, I laugh. I just get this positivity, this feel good vibe, man. I, I know I'm doing something right. I'm doing something right. <laughs> I'm doing something right. I'm supposed to be making these videos, man. Because it feels good making them now, man. <laughs> it feels good making these videos, man. I'm about to call it a night. Um, man, I had a, I had a very productive last 48 hours. Um, and today, in the middle of the day of work, I was drained and I had a couple, you know, every day we're, we're going to get tested, right? Um, even when people probably don't mean to test you, you'll probably, is the per that person's probably doing nothing to bother you. But it might be something in, it might have been something in you that you need to fix that rubbed you wrong that you need to fix. That's a, it, it's an issue. It's a problem within you that you need to fix because that person really may have meant no harm and they were coming at you a certain way and or I don't want to say they they probably were not coming at you any kind of way but because of how your energy is and where you're at if depending on where you're at if you're not in a good place at the time if your energy is down then you're going to react in a negative way most likely because your energy your energy can't really process what they said in a positive light. And then a lot of times, I don't know, like, you know, we, we listen to how people say things too. Um, or if it's something that we feel is personal to us, um, you know, we, we're sensitive. We're very sensitive, but I mean, me personally, as a man, I shouldn't be that sensitive at all. Like, you know, um, if somebody says something that runs me wrong and I really, it really shouldn't internalize it like that but you know we're humans at the end of the day too um so we're going to take energy in however we take it right it doesn't matter just people and human beings in general if somebody's not a nice person we're going to take that in if somebody is a uh is, is a positive person we're going to take that in uh um man or woman right but um you know, today was over. Today was a good day, and so was yesterday. I haven't been having bad days. I've been having good days, so I don't want y'all to think that my day was a bad day. My days, my days are for the most part are good. They're positive, but of course, I still am going through trials and tribulations internally within myself. Things, personal stuff. You know, family, thinking about life, the the everyday grind and the everyday struggle of life and working and just trying to make ends meet. And um, that's why these videos are so kind of like they're very relieving for me now because I'm able to document my life with it. And I should have been doing this. I should have been doing this. I should have never stopped. I should have never stopped, but that's the past. And I learned my lesson and I would never, I wouldn't be where I am now if I didn't go through all of that in the past. So now I'm at a place where, you know, I'm extremely confident and comfortable just turning on this camera now and saying how I feel and speaking how I feel. Um, about just my life in general and giving y'all uh, my perspective of my life when I get in from being outside in that world and coming, you know, and I'm back home before I crash or before I go out into the world. Um, or sometimes when I'm out, I will record as you guys know. Um, but, you know, I, I'm very focused now. I'm on a strict focus now um, being, you know, able to be uh, solo, you know, um, and I'm thankful, I'm grateful because I, I needed to be alone. I needed to be isolated because I already had a very busy schedule when I was in a relationship and like I was already running a circuit routine trying to still live my life while being in the relationship. So I was, excuse me, the relationship was more of a like, it was more of something that I let take my center focus away but I was like my spirit was all over the place my mind my body my soul was not intact because I had my grind that I was trying to focus on and I was also trying to focus on uh my relationship and I was trying to focus on um 
too much at once. And then at the same time, you know, you've got a strong attachment with somebody. At the same time, you can't control that person. You know what I mean? You can't, um, they have a life too that they, they have dreams and things that they aspire to do as well. So, um, I wasn't focused and and that wasn't meant for me to be in that relationship any longer, you know, and, um, I'm okay with that. I've, you know, I'm a grown ass man now, so <laughs> I wasn't a grown ass man, but I'm 30, you know? So it's like, for me, it's just more of a realization. Like, you know, I was already in a long-term relationship when I was in high school too. I've only been in, I've never, I never gave myself to many people like that. It wasn't that I couldn't have, um, been out there like that. I just have always been a more spiritual person where I, you know, I have a certain respect for myself. So I never really exerted my, my essence and my energy out like that. You know, um, I've always had, you know, that faith in me to be focused on bigger things than, you know, than sex and, 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 uh, just really lustful shit. You know what I mean? I've always had, excuse my language, you know, I try to, I've been trying to get better with my, uh, my words too, you know, not, I, I've been trying to not use as much profanity and stuff like that. You know, just little things I'm trying to tweak right now and just things to make myself a more pure person, you know, um, because I was getting pulled into a very dark space, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I'm going to tell y'all too, the music plays a big part in that. The music plays a big part in that. And like, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Future's music, like, you know, that shit, y'all, we just got to be careful when we're listening to this rap and this hip hop. Um, because if we are, I mean, and you know, a lot of us, we, we smoke, we, we, we're drinking, we're in already open to shit, you know what I mean? So uh, we're more sensitive to things, obviously, we're more, right? So like when we're taking in this kind of music, that shit is like, you'll feel the vibrations, right? We really feel the vibrations, like... It, that music will make you do stuff. So you just got to, you know, and I've heard other people say that, but like, you, you just got to be mindful of what we're listening to, too, because that's something that you're intaking as well. We might just think, oh, it's just the music. Nah, it's doing something to us. It's doing something to us. <laughs> it's making our mindset. It's changing. Now, mind you, I make music, so it's like, I understand those frequencies and those vibrations and the sounds, the sounds, some of the sounds sound so beautiful and they make you feel a certain way and they, they can transcend you to a different place. They can take you somewhere. They can, you know, make you, they can, some music can make you time travel out here sometimes. You, you time travel, you go back to the past based off of a certain song. It's crazy, you know, like we don't be thinking about how deep it is when it comes to music, man. But, uh, but yeah, um, you already know these, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start calling it a day in the life of Paul Strong, you know, um, uh, maybe I'm fine tweaking the name. I'm not going to say what I'm going to call it, but as of now, I might, I'm thinking day in the life of Paul Strong. Um, it's very interesting. I'm going to stay consistent with uploading to YouTube. I, you know, I see the views going up. Like I said, this channel, I think needs to be calibrated. Um, by YouTube, but it is what it is. I'm gonna continue to upload pretty consistently, continue to learn how to get better with making videos, editing, um, you know, obviously making everything overall better, tagging, title, and all of that stuff. But I'm not doing that stuff if I don't have to. Like, I'm confident right now just getting on the camera and recording, and I'm having a lot of fun doing this. So if this feels good to me, I'm just gonna do it, you know? But just on the check-in again, y'all you already know my video is probably going to be around the same time because I don't like to be uh, too long-winded and, and going on for too long. But uh, just, you know, as usual, got to keep it real with y'all and check in. Um, and uh, if you haven't, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and then I'll, check, I'll see you guys on the check-in on the next one, all right? Peace. Love y'all.